once again welcome back to obstetrics and gynecology videos today we are going to see about aids in pregnancy the organism of hiv is retrovirus of the lentivirus family and it has affinity towards t lymphocytes and macrophages and monocytes transmission it is getting transmitted through infected blood body secretions like semen vaginal fluid or those things and it can get transmitted through the unprotected sexual intercourse sharing of contaminated needles and pediatric hiv is primarily results from the perinatal or that is during the time of delivery it may transfer from the mother to the baby or during the breast feeding also it may transfer from the mother to the baby mother, mother to the baby next we can see the pathogenesis once if the human immunodeficiency virus has entered into the body slowly it will cause the progressive destruction of the t cells and the incubation period of the disease is 1 to 3 weeks and after a peak viral load after the maximum load there will be a gradual fall and later what will happen means more destruction of the host cell will occur and progressively immunosuppression will occur that is it will destroy the T lymphocytes and progressively the immunosuppression will occur and because of the immunosuppression opportunistic infections will come so the lady will get all the sorts of infections so this is the thing which is happening in the case of HIV infection and the clinical presentation or clinical features include fever, malaise, headache, sore throat, lymphadenopathy and maculopapular rashes and constitutional symptoms like weight loss, lymphadenopathy or protracted diarrhea will be there and multiple opportunity infections with candida, tuberculosis, pneumocystitis and others also will occur because of the immunosuppression and the diagnosis we can do by enzyme immunoassay or western blood test or immunofluorescence assay we can do for confirming the diagnosis management during the prenatal period or in the prenatal care voluntarily the lady should undergo the testing for HIV and once if they have diagnosed as posting they should undergo the counseling and they should be assessed for the CD4 and T lymphocytes count and HIV RNA every 3 to 4 months interval they should do the testing for assessing the CD4 cells the level of CD4 cells and for assessing the level of T lymphocytes and for assessing the uh, presence of HIV and once if they have diagnosed we can start highly active antiretroviral therapy that is heart so it includes first composition it includes nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors the drugs which are coming under this category include sidovidin salcitabine lamivudin stavudin and secondly after that uh, along with that you can use the non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors this include nevirapine, delaviridine and protease inhibitors also we can give this protease inhibitors examples include indinavir, sacunavir and ritonavir and along with that we can use the entry inhibitors also example for entry inhibitor is virense. so these are the combinations of drugs we can give for the people or give for the lady during the but a pregnancy once if they have diagnosed as having the HIV. During the time of delivery, we are supposed to give sidovidin IV infusion starting at and it should be started at the onset of the labor. And in the case of cesarean, we should start it four hours before the time of cesarean. And the loading dose is two milligram per kilogram and it should be continued until the cord clamping is done. And we usually we are not supposed to do the amniotomy or oxytocin augmentation for the vaginal delivery because if you are doing that there is a chance for transmission of HIV from the mother to the baby. The transmission rate will increase and elective cesarean delivery is recommended at 38 weeks in the case of women those who are receiving the uh, antiretroviral therapy. And the postpartum period, we can advise the woman to breastfeed the baby. And pseudovidin syrup 2 mg per kilogram is given to the neonate 4 times daily for the first 6 weeks of life. 
So these are the things we can do for managing the HIV infection during the pregnancy and during the time of delivery and for managing the babies, those who are born for the HIV infected mothers. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon with a new video. Bye.